All right, so listen. I want to see how alert you guys are tonight. Can anybody see anything wrong here with this picture? Just want to see how alert you are. Oh, the side. Go to the other side. Unplug the wire. I check the bias voltage on the wire, and it's two and a half. I now know that it's nothing to do with the wire, and it has to be the sensor. That's I know it. Now, if I don't have the voltage on there, I know it's a broken wire. I filed all the way back to the controller. Let's say an ABS controller had tons of them on Bosch Five systems. I go right to the controller. I have a ground. But I have no five volts. No voltage here. I check the other three. So I have it. Meanwhile, the computer is saying, open circuit, left rear sensor. It ain't an open circuit here. The open circuit is inside the ECM. I proved it 100% because I know about bias voltage. I know the circuit's broken inside ECM. He, needed, he actually needed an ABS controller. And the trigger wheel is correct with the teeth, but it's too shallow. The teeth are shallow. So when you replace axles, or how about this one? You buy an axle, they didn't put the, 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 the ring on it at all. There's no ring. Oh, you didn't order it with a ring. Oh, you, you didn't tell me it was ABS. These are questions you need to ask. Well, does it have ABS or does it not have ABS? So when you order up uh, any type of axle, make sure you check this ring that for it, it's shallow, how, where the sh how shallow it is, how many teeth it has, and it, it did, was it pressed on center to, to fully get it open. So a Noid light, if a Noid light takes, let's say a Noid, you know, the Noid light is taking like 0.3 amps to light it up, there's no guarantee you open an injector. You ever have the old Nissans where you, you're doing a tune-up and all of a sudden the car's misfire and you have to wiggle the injector to get it to work again? You find out it's all corroded? That resistance prevents it from firing. It's high resistance. Let me put my scope on it. I'm checking it. Here's the computer grounding the injector. I'm at three volts. I'm over here. So why is the computer not going all the way down here? It's only grounded to here, three volts. So I'm thinking it could be a bad computer that can't ground it all the way. It could be a bad ground. But here's the problem. We're only looking at voltage. That's the problem. You need to look at amps because the other part of Ohm's law is the amps. Look at this. It's pulling 13 amps. So the computer's going like this, right? The computer's going like this. Okay, who's your daddy? Who's your daddy? Who's your daddy? Whoa, you're my daddy. It don't want to pull, because it knows it brings it all the way down the ground. It's going to burn itself out. So it's going to hold it at a certain level to protect itself. That's a smart driver. Now here's a dumb driver going like this. Like that IAC control motor or the motor mount driver. Grabs a hold and goes, oh my God. Oh my God. Goes, let go, dude. No, they didn't tell me let go. They told me to hang out for the ride. Meanwhile, the new smart drivers do this. Oh, no problem, dude. <laughs> I'm cured. I can hang on to you, but I'll just elevate myself. So those are smart drivers. Smart drivers can prevent the car from actually, can prevent itself from being damaged.